What's up, people? The moment of truth. Moment everybody's been waiting on, bugging me, text, uh, sending me notifications from YouTube while I'm at work, asking me what's your settings, when are you uploading? Well, I'm working on it now. So this is for everybody who is so anxious to find out what my settings were on my previous video. I'm going to try to go through this real quick, not be long-winded and drawn out. Basically, this is my essential right here. This is the app that you would download um, when you buy the uh, Stripe Pack in order to update it. Um, this top part right here will be grayed out. However, you will be able to make certain settings in um, this menu here, which, uh, of course, I don't need to because I did buy the the mod packs um and of course you go on their website they tell you the price paid through paypal is activated so once you do that you plug in your stripe pack to your pc um and then this option will become available open up this option here this is going to be my demonstration slot here it's set to the default this is already all the settings that I that I used on that video is already saved here so I'm gonna preserve those settings here um, however I'm gonna show you for demonstration purposes the default on my second slot and show you what I changed so basically um, well hold on Let me reset this real quick. Okay, so basically it starts out like this. Everybody, um, when you purchase the mod pack and you select the Fortnite mod, you're, and you open up this settings menu, this is what you'll see. So, of course, I changed this to Builder Pro. Um, I used 6, but I use, um, I've used 6, but I ended up going with the setting of 7 sensitivity because, of course, um, want to be able to rotate the x-axis on my controller in order to see around me quicker in case the enemy jumps behind me here I have this set to 180 um, I set this to 1.12 or 12 I set building track enabled down here I did not use weapon fire for um, for obvious reasons that I've stated on my previous videos um, this works, this works really well with pistols however I will try to do it again to see if I can get this to work well with ARs and um, ARs and uh, submachine guns but for right now I don't use this um, okay now the bread and butter aim abuse so um, I've used all these settings. I'm not going to go into great detail on anything except for what I've used in the previous video because it's late. Most of you want me to hurry up and do this video. So this is for you guys. I'm going to shut up about this stuff. I use aim abuse customs. Why? Because I'm going to change these settings down here. Um, I leave these uh, two aim assist for aim abuse and press sensitivity for aim abuse. I've I've left these on recommended recommended. I've tried using the optional settings. However, it works best when you use these recommended uh, settings here. My ADS hold time. I've I've started way down here. I've ended up over here. The sweet spot for me and what I have on that video is 290. The ADS release time, um, I found it to be best at 36. All right. Um, shot mode, I left it. Everything else is on disabled. Yes, everything else is on disabled. Um, but I will. I'm going to go into detail about what aim abuse really is and really what it does based on my understanding of it and how I've utilized it and how I've seen it work so basically once you get all these settings here changed to how I've had it or how I have it I'm gonna hit save and then I'm going to flash this information to my stripe pack save slots to device and it's going to flash the stripe pack 
for everybody that's been uh, waiting on this video to come out. I appreciate your patience. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.